Let me bring in Liberal MP Andrew Wallace live from the Sunshine Coast. Thanks for joining us, Andrew. I'll get to more on the, the Albanese government in a moment. But first up, I wanted to speak to you as the Oceania Chair of the Israel Allies Caucus. Tell us about that group and also how you view this pathetic response from Australia not criticising the ICC at all over targeting Benjamin Netanyahu and his Defence Minister. Well, thanks for having me on, Chris. The Israel Allies Caucus is a, a body, an international body, uh, made up of uh, parliamentarians from across 50 countries that support the state of Israel and support the Jewish communities within their own countries and within their own electorates. Uh, just two weeks ago, in fact, the uh, Australasia um, Israel Allies Caucus issued a, an open letter to the Chief Prosecutor of the International Criminal Court, signed by 31 coalition members, calling on him to uh, basically come out and say whether the rumours were true, whether he was going to issue or seek the issuing of arrest warrants for uh, Israeli leaders. So we pointed must, out... So sorry to interrupt, Andrew. You must, you and your colleagues, uh, both in the coalition and in other countries, must be absolutely dismayed, not just at this action, but at the pathetic response from Anthony Albanese. Well, the, the response from the Prime Minister is, is as vacuous as he is useless. It's as vacuous as he is gutless. The, the people of Australia are looking for leadership right now from their Prime Minister and they are getting nothing. You know, you, you stole so many of my, the points that I wanted to make from your very good editorial just a, a moment ago. This is the guy that came out in 2022 in the election campaign and said that, you know, he'd turn up, he'd show up, he'd show leadership. Well, he has done anything but over the last two years. But, Andrew Wallace, the, it's, it's, wor it's, worse th it's worth, worse than a vacuum on this issue now because the Prime Minister created the vacuum. He didn't want to talk about this. So the number one issue in the world this day, and the Prime Minister said, I don't want to talk about it. So then instead we heard from Chris Bowen, one of his Cabinet Ministers, who essentially backed in the ICC. So now you have Australia's position is effectively backing in this pursuit of the Israeli leadership. Uh, backing in ha ha Hamas leadership, uh, you know, the, 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 the Labor Party of Australia are backing Hamas over Israel. They are backing uh, the ICC's confusion, their conflation, this, this somehow there, that there is some sort of moral equivalency between what happened uh, on October 7 and what has happened since. Chris, I've been to Israel. I've seen what happened. I was only I was only there a couple of months after uh, October seven. I saw the sites of the massacres. Uh, I spoke to the people who had lost loved ones. Um, there is no moral equivalency here. The the leadership that is coming out by the chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court is absolutely disgraceful. To try and argue that there, that there is some sort of equivalency here is beyond just, the pale. Just quickly, Andrew, on this, though, it was always controversial that Australia signed up to the ICC. It happened under the Howard government. I was an advisor to the Foreign Minister, Alexander Downer, when it happened. There was a lot of consternation because America was holding out. Now, thankfully, America did hold out. Should Australia now withdraw from the ICC? Well, let's remember that the... the this is an application for arrest warrants. The yeah, ICC yes, yeah, hasn't yeah, issued yeah, them yeah, yet. Yes, I know, and we're nearly out of time. I just need a quick answer. Okay. Do you believe, uh, on right. balance, Australia should disassociate itself from the ICC? If the ICC come out and, and issue these arrest warrants, Australia should be having a very, very hard look at itself and its support and funding for the ICC.